And we're so glad you are on this Friday. The time now is 745. We are not the only ones trying to get outside and take advantage of this beautiful summer and our warmer temperatures. Yeah, not just us. Mosquitoes mm. also out and about trying to find their next meal, mm. their next victim. And now the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District, well, they have an update on how many we're seeing. It feels like more, but yeah. let's find out. Meteorologist Jared Piepenberg yeah. is live with a look at where the numbers are standing. Good morning, Jared. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, we're out here <laughs> and I'm just being bombarded with the gnats. Cody and I this morning have been talking about that. He's like, I think they're just meaner this year. They're just <laughs> attacking my face as soon as I go outside. Uh-huh. Meaner. Yeah, and I, that's what's going on. Like right before we, we came on, I was like, I'll just one won't leave me alone but right. yeah we're out here with mosquito control uh, this is uh, Alex Carlson with us here is kind enough to, to join us um, right by the station and we've been talking mosquitoes and, and gnats I learned something that you call them black flies and uh, I guess people are just kind of wondering where our numbers are at and how things are looking this year and maybe in comparison to what it's been previously yeah, well, the big thing is we're coming off of three years of drought. So we've had three years in a row with barely any mosquitoes, especially in the later summer months. So I think we have a short-term memory because they're actually below average this year, but they're much higher than they've been the past three years. So people are definitely noticing them, and there's some hot spot areas where they're really bad this year. Uh, do you want to let some folks know who the unlucky ones are, <laughs> the luckier ones, uh, you know, around uh, the metro and surrounding area? Uh, most recently, it's been northern Washington County has seen a lot. Um, and then down where the rivers have overflowed, uh, they left a lot of standing water around that created some additional mosquito mosquito habitat. So Carver County, um, along the Minnesota River, they've seen a lot of spikes in mosquitoes um, this time of year. Yeah, and it, it sounds like it's just part of it, too, has been it's just hard to get at to, you know, tackle this this problem, too, correct? Yeah, that's the big story with the biting gnats or the black flies, which mm. they, they yeah, really they like you. Right they, they don't come after me because they know who I work for. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because the, the, they develop in rivers and streams, and because we've had so much flooding this year, we haven't been able to get our buoys in to do the surveillance and figure out where they're coming from. Um, and so just today we actually started getting our buoys back in the water, and so we're behind on our treatments, and so they've really been coming out of the rivers and streams and overwhelming people especially um, you know south metro uh, kind of down by this neck of the woods burnsville um, all the way down to bell plain last week we had a trap collect over 56,000 black flies in a single evening um, which is <laughs> pretty bad um, and so that's big been the big story with the biting gnats or black flies this year yeah they, i mean they're just a nuisance even right now so a lot of people are relating that too and also we haven't had a, a lot of wind so i'm sure that's yeah. playing you know weather's playing a factor too um you, you talked about this year you know being different than we've had some very dry conditions the past few years what could that mean for the next years to come it kind of sounded like we were talking this morning this might be kind of a transition year potentially yeah. Yeah, one of our entomologists called this the rebuilding year because uh, just the drought really brought down the numbers and so there weren't as many eggs around to hatch this year. Um, but we're starting to see those numbers creep back up. Um, they're going to be laying eggs that are going to overwinter and probably come back next year. So it's hard to predict the weather, as you know. So if we get a lot of rain again next spring and into you know next summer, we're going to see them continue to creep up, probably back towards the average or above that. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> so we, we want dry, but we still want some wet weather, too. So we, we have our green yards. But, uh, yeah. Well, thank you for joining us here this morning. I'm going to continue to swat gnats for a little while, and then I'll come back and join uh -huh. you guys. I, it's uh, funny. Before this segment, I was sending Alex uh, yeah, my, so I, but the repellent I found that works for gnats. So I'll, I'll send that to you, too, Jared. It's a little late now. Yeah. Is it called Inside? <laughs> is that what the repellent's called? That's the 100% that's the <laughs> cure. 100%, yeah. But, yes. sorry, we need you in the yeah. eight, too. Wah, wah. You just stay out there, you and, you and your friends. Nats. He's making a okay. lot of friends, the but they're, he's, as he said, they're meaner this <laughs> too year. Too many. Yeah. Sorry. But there he is, um, you know, doing the work so we don't have to. Right, that's right.